Hey everyone, so we are doing a long overdue first impressions video. We have so much makeup to try out. I've done so many hauls and all the stuff has just been sitting on the side and some stuff I've tried on my own and then some stuff I've been like waiting to do in a video and I'm just like, okay, I gotta film this video. It's just kind of hard because sitting here like for first impressions usually take me a few hours to film and my feet are so swollen right now. So I need to go and put them up. But I am so excited that I finally got to try out all this new makeup on my face and I can't wait till you guys see what I used. Also, I'm thinking for like a video schedule is maybe doing PR hauls like every Saturday of stuff that I get for the week and then doing a first impressions every Monday or Tuesday of the stuff that I haul on the weekend. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below of that. I think that would be really fun to do and kind of get us on like a really good set schedule. Also, before we get into this video, I'm gonna do another mystery box giveaway. I still have a lot of makeup to give away. So check out the link down below and that's how you'll enter. It's great because you put in your name and your email and I already have a way to contact you. And for my last announcement, we actually just launched a ton of new arrivals over on my online boutique, which is called Shop Juliet Rose. So you go shopjulietrose.com. I will have that link down below. Go check out the new arrivals that we have launched over there. We are also now just getting all of our fall stuff in. So we're gonna do another photo shoot for that and then get those fall pieces up for you, which are so, cute you guys they are really really cute clothes so i can't wait for you to see those ones and also we have a sale going on so if you use the coupon code school 15 you'll be able to save 15 percent off so definitely use that at checkout and now without further ado let's go ahead and get into the first impressions and see all the products that worked for me and what didn't work for me so all right so bare face because we are trying out so many products you guys and i also have like some skincare ones that i really want to try out too first off i'm gonna go into this oil right here this is from pixie and this is the jasmine oil blend with jasmine and evening primrose in it so it's a radiance recovery oil so as i told you guys i'm extremely dry and first off the droppers right here you pull this out you know what i'm actually gonna shake it up a little bit you use this AM and PM, but like I said, I am super dry, so I need all the moisture I can get. So what I do is I rub this in my hands, and then, oh, it smells like flowers. It smells like jasmine. And I'm just going to put this all over my face, down my neck. I recommend using an oil if you're really dry, but not if you're oily. <laughs> you will become an oil slick throughout the day. But this will help all my foundation and everything come on so nicely. Next up for my moisturizer, I'm gonna try out this Tula Hydrating Day and Night Cream with Probiotic Technology. All these products are stuff that I got in like previous PR hauls that you guys have seen me haul out, but this is what the packaging looks like right here. And it's just like a white cream. So I'm gonna take some, oh, that's a lot. Oh, she's kicking me right now. <laughs> take some, rub it in my hands. Oh, this feels good. I've really been enjoying the Elemis moisturizer, but I am like already almost out of the oil and everything. I'm so sad, but I've been loving the Elemis stuff. And this kind of feels like that too. So I've got like acne scars and stuff still, and I got two pimples that popped up on my chin just yesterday out of nowhere, and I haven't had a pimple in so long. That sucks. Whatever. I can't complain because it's been really nice not having like breakouts. As you can see, my skin has a glow to it now. So that means that we are all ready for makeup. Now onto priming the skin. I am using a lot of hydrating products because the foundation I'm gonna try out is a matte foundation. So I need to hydrate my skin as much as possible. So I'm using the NARS Radiance Primer and it has an SPF of three, three, has an SPF of 35 in it. So I'm just actually gonna take a little bit like that. Oh, it smells like sunscreen. Ooh. Gave a really pretty glow. It feels good. It definitely smoothed out, like it blended out really beautifully. Um, but it definitely has a sunscreen smell to it. I'd be worried if I wasn't pregnant because I my skin was a lot more sensitive to breaking out to products. And my skin is still sensitive, but it more so could get like irritated easily, but it doesn't break out from products like it used to before I was pregnant. So next up, I'm going to try out this guy right here. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Pore Refiner, Refiner Stick. I'm going to put him where I usually have my pores, which is right here into the center of my face and up here. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to, ooh, that really like mattified it 
mattified. <laughs> that really mattified the area right there. Like it feels smooth. I hope it's not gonna be too dry right there now. But that's another thing is honestly, my pores aren't as big as they used to be since pregnancy. It'll be interesting to see how my skin <laughs> goes back to what it was. All right, so for foundation, we are gonna use this guy right here. I am dying to try this out, you guys. I saw that they did an event and I was like, oh my God, like what is this? What is this like blue packaging here? Cause this is like my favorite color ever. So yeah, this is their new foundation from It Cosmetics. This is Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil-Free Matte SPF 40. So it's supposed to be a full coverage cream. I have the shade Light here, which might be too dark for me right now, but we're just gonna drag it down the neck. Ooh, it is definitely thick. And then the brush I'm gonna use is the brand new Sigma one. This is the Flat Kabuki F80 Air one right here. This is, I just hauled this. Um, we're gonna use that and then I'm also gonna go and wet my beauty blender right here And this is the Ofra perfecting puff Latex free expanding makeup sponge. So look at how pretty this guy is so pretty Ah, and it feels like an actual beauty blender too. So I'm gonna go wet this and I'll be right back All right, so I'm back with the sponge looks like this. Oh my god This is like my new favorite sponge just by the color of it. Okay, so now we are gonna go in and we are going to try out this foundation. So I'm just gonna pop it on to the areas of my skin. I'm just going to buff it into the skin. I'm actually gonna go in now with the blender and I'm gonna start just pouncing this on the skin to build some more coverage in some areas. Cause definitely that brush um, is very light coverage. And I know this has a lot more coverage than that because I know the original. All right, so I put a headband in my hair just to help pull back my hair, but this is what the foundation looks like on my skin. You can still see that we have a lot of dewiness still left over, which is good because it's a matte foundation. But I think with all the oils and the moisturizer and the radiance primer, it made it really work for my skin. I definitely had to build up on coverage. Um, it wasn't full coverage off the bat. You had to build with it. This is a good foundation brush if you want a light coverage. But if you need more coverage, then you'll probably want the flat top kabuki that has a little bit more dense and it can really like, you know, pack on the coverage. So. I definitely noticed that you didn't get as good a coverage with this. I went in with the Ofra sponge and this was really nice. I actually really enjoyed this and I just kind of dabbed it over my face and then added some extra like, you know, more layers so I could build it up to full coverage. But so far, I think it looks good. I got basically a lot of all my acne scars covered up now. Definitely the foundation is too dark for me. It is, um, I'm gonna need shade Fair because light is too dark. I'm too, like look at me, I'm too fair right now. That's the only bummer part, but at least we could drag it down a little bit. <laughs> I have like a cutoff like right here. Just just ignore that, just ignore that. So now we're gonna go and try this new concealer here. So this is the full coverage liquid concealer that's waterproof from Ulta Beauty. I just hauled this in that Ulta haul, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to try this out because everyone says that everyone raves about this concealer. This will also help lighten up this foundation. I'm gonna use the sponge to blend it out. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here. And I'm actually going to take my Sephora brush and I'm gonna use this because I need some more coverage. Okay, so here's the concealer. Definitely had to use a brush to help build it up a little bit more because it wasn't enough coverage of what I needed. Like you could still see my dark circles because I don't sleep anymore. <laughs> it was really nice. It blended out easily. It definitely isn't a full coverage concealer off the bat, but I think you could build it up. And then also if you do it with a brush, then you can get a lot more coverage from it. But it's actually really nice. It blended out beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the new Laura Mercier powder. This is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. Oh, all my dry skin girls out there, I'm sure you guys are just as excited as I am about this. So it's just the same packaging. So I'm gonna try to get some out. Why does that look so dark? Oh, that's pretty though. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. So the way that I'm gonna apply this, I'm gonna use the Sigma F35 brush right here. This is actually like a tapered highlighting brush, but I actually really like it to set my concealer with because it's so tapered and just very lightweight. I will still crease even if I am dry right there. You have to set it. Set my brows too, because we're gonna be filling in those brows. Ooh. 
it like really kicked up like right there. It like just stuck. Hang on a second. It like stuck to my forehead, you guys. I don't know about this. I look like I have glitter on me. It gives you a pretty glow. Like maybe it's just like supposed to be like a loose highlighter. I don't know. I'm actually gonna go into the Laura Mercier um, Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in shade one. It looks like this. It's kind of like that, but it's not a loose one. It's a pressed powder, but I've been using this to set my um, face because it's been really good for my dry skin. All right, so now that my face is all set and ready to go, consensus on this, it's pretty. Like you can see the glow on my cheeks, like it's pretty, but it's just, I don't know. It just really like adhered to my, for like the center of my forehead for some reason. I don't know why, but that's what happened. Mm, it's just like, I don't know. I think it'd be really pretty on the top of the cheekbones of using it like a light highlight, like, you know, like a very soft highlighter, but all over the face, I don't think so. I think it's just a little bit too glowy for me and I feel bad saying that because I love more Laura Mercier and I love this pressed powder right here. But I just feel like there's a little bit too much glow in there of why that doesn't make it work for me. So maybe I need to like try different ways to use it or watch how other people are using it and learn. But um, for me right now, that's like a nope, it didn't work out for me. So now we're gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're gonna try out some new brow products. All right, so I'm a little torn on what brow product I should try out. Um, I actually just tried this out earlier this morning because I had to go run some errands and I had to fill in my brows. So I'm going between the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. So I tried this out just a little bit ago, but I'll, I think I wanna do it again. And then I also have the new NARS one too. So I'm kind of torn, like should I just go with the NARS or should I go with this one? You know what, let's go with this one and then I'll show you guys my thoughts of it because I've already used it once. And then, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna use the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. So this has a bunch of little products into it. It's like one of those like pens, those multicolor pens. It's a really cool invention here and very creative and different than what anyone has done. So I love that about this. So I'm gonna go in with a deeper shade. So you pull down the pen. The shade that I have is the lightest shade, which is called Blonde Light. And then you twist it and the product comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling the outer portion of my brow. I do wish I had a spoolie and it doesn't. So I'm actually gonna steal a spoolie from this NARS one. And then I'm gonna film in. Now I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade and bring this into the center of the eye brow. Okay, so next up they have a highlighter and then a definer. So let's do the definer. Tried this out earlier and honestly, was not the biggest fan of this one. Okay, so to help define the eyes, I'm gonna grab my brush here and blend this out. There that is. To find it, I'm actually gonna pull it from the top here too, because I need to carve out these brows. Okay, so there is that brow done. Let's go ahead and take the highlighter now. Put this underneath the brow arch, just to make it like, give it a little like, you know, lift. Yeah. So there's a the brow done. It looks pretty good. Actually, like, I think it's a really cool, creative pencil that they did here. Um, I do wish the tip was, like the tip is really kind of like, thick but it's not like very pointed so it's hard to get those brush strokes with it so I still prefer the precisely my brow over this but I, like for the invention of it I think it's really cool because this is so much easier to travel with than traveling with like a bunch of different pencils so I think they did a good job with this but I feel like it's kind of it works but it's kind of also on the gimmicky side so it really comes down to your preference of doing your brows. I still prefer the Precisely My Brow because it just allows me to get really fine strokes. So, but it's still really cool though. I'm on a wave with it. Like I like it, but I kind of like, eh, I still could probably do a better job with my Precisely My Brow, but it definitely did a good job there. We'll use the NARS one on a different day, but, or I'll talk about it in my monthly like best and worst video. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to um, use is the Tarte, Busy Gal Brows. This is a tinted brow gel in the shade Taupe. So it looks like this. I also hauled this in that Ulta haul. I've been dying to try this out, you guys. I've been like trying not to touch any of that stuff until I could try it out in a video and it's been, it's been hard. So I'm gonna just kind of top it off with this. Not bad. Dude, 
this one is good. This is really good. I like the brush on it. It really made it look like I have like hairier brows and I don't have hairy brows. I have very sparse, like, I mean, look at, these are my brows right here. Very sparse, not a whole lot of hair there. They've never had a lot of hair. Like I've never really had to pluck my brows or wax them because there's just no hair there, you guys. It's crazy. So it makes it look like it has a lot of hair. The brush is really nice. The product is really nice. This is a definite dope. I can't wait to use this on its own too, like for like a workout and stuff. So I really like that. That I recommend. Like, oh, I'm so like, I'm so excited that I finally got to use this because I've been like dying to try it out and now I love it. Now I'm like, ah, okay, I gotta keep using it. Okay, so brows are done. Now going into some bronzers here. So we have the one from Becca, which is the Be A Light palette right here. This one is in the shade light to medium. So you get all of these products in here, which is really nice. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that hourglass one. And I'm gonna dust this underneath my eyes. Actually, an, oh, that's like a nice powder. I don't know, I like it. All right, <laughs> I was just playing with it. But uh, next up, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna warm up my skin first and we're gonna take this one right here and I'm just going to put this in the places where I would want to warm my face up. I was worried about this one even when I swatched it. I don't know if it's gonna be like dark enough because it's pretty light. I feel like you like you can kind of see it a little bit, but not really. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into this Lorac one and this is Pool Party. This is their tantalizer. I love Lorac products. They never disappoint. So I'm gonna use this for my bronzer. Oh yeah, look at, we've got color now. So I'm just gonna press this in and blend up. Oh, this is really warm. This is really warm. Not too bad. In all honesty, it's a little bit more of a warmer bronzer than I would tend to go for, but it doesn't look bad on the skin. Fun, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into this deeper shade right here, right in those little hollows, just to get some more definition. Oh yeah, look at look at how like that actually gave me like a cheekbone, because my face is so round right now. <laughs> it, fun, it gave me like a little bit of cheekbone, so this is contouring. Watch, I'm gonna be like looking back at this footage and be like, oh God, but on camera right now, it looks okay. Definitely like it how it made my face slimmer. Like you could see a difference. All right, so first off with this bronzer, I like it. I love the formula of it. It's just a little warm for my taste. It just wouldn't be something that I would tend to gravitate to. I feel like it just look, it's just coming off a bit warm on my skin right now. But other than that, I really like the formula of it. Again, this one is in Pool Party. I have like no new blushes to try out. We have the blush in this pan right here, which is pretty. It's got like a sheen to it. I just feel like my face is so glowy that we're like really gonna be glowing it up. We're gonna be looking like a disco ball here if I keep adding glowy things. My consensus on this palette right here from Becca, I would pass. It's really nothing special. Honestly, like it's, it's not nothing special. So I would pass on that. That really was just like it eh, for me. So now for my blush, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this Patrick Star and Matte Cosmetics one. This is I'm Not Blushing Powder Blush Duo right here, which is really pretty. I'm actually gonna focus more into this one. Pop that onto my cheeks. And then I always go in with this brush right here. Like this is the best brush ever. This is from Too Faced. It's their Mr. Right brush. I love this brush. I use it for everything. It's so good. And that reminds me, I totally need to clean my brushes. <laughs> and now I'm gonna pop it on on the other one. Patrick Starr has been coming out with like the best collections with Mac. I'm so proud of him. Oh, so pretty. This, definite dope. I love this, he's killing it. Great job. Now we're gonna go into a highlight and we're gonna use the Pixie by Petra. This is the Glowy Gossamer Duo and it's Subtle sun Sunrise. This is what it looks like inside right here. Really pretty highlights. I'm gonna focus on this more champagne one because I think it will go best with my skin tone. I'm gonna use a fan brush. This is the best fan brush ever, you guys. This one is from Sigma, it's the F42 brush. It's dense and nice and it just does an amazing job. I highly recommend it. I actually have a code with them. I think it's Madison or Madison 10, I always forget, but it's always linked down below. If you guys ever wanna save money while getting brushes, they have really good brush kits. But I love this fan brush. Oh, Pixie, you're killing it. Wow, I'm like glowy, I'm glowy. It was so funny yesterday. Joel was like, he goes, 
He goes, you've got that pregnancy glow. He goes, you're all glowy from like right here. <laughs> it was so funny. And I was cracking up and I was like, babe, that ain't my pregnancy glow. That's my highlight. <laughs> It was so funny. He's like, he goes, why can't you just say a compliment? Because he's like, he kind of like put two and two together and he realized he's like, oh yeah, that's gotta be makeup right there. <laughs> but he was like, oh, you're glowing today. Your pregnancy glow. It was so, oh, look at, I'm turning red. I'm laughing so hard. Okay. But yeah, it was a crack up. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dang, okay, I put on a lot. <laughs> I'm all about that glow and that do. Now I'm gonna take the same brush. This is what I do anyways. And I kind of like pat out the highlight and it softens it up a bit and blends it into the skin to where it's a little bit more subtle and it's not just like sitting on top of the skin. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face right now before we get into the eyes. And this is the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. We are all about that dew right now. I've been dying to try this out and I found it in my drawer in there of stuff to try out. And I'm like, oh, that's where this guy went. I've been, I've been on the hunt for this one. I was like, where is this guy? But yeah, it has a little shaker in it. Shake it up. Shake it up good. But you always want, no matter if you're dry, no matter if you're normal, no matter if you're oily, you always want to use a makeup setting spray, especially if you're using like powders and everything. It really melts everything in together and makes it look seamless. Like I cannot go a day without using Mac Fix Plus. It's like my favorite. I'm excited to try this one out. I've never tried the cover of X ones out. So really excited for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and douse my face in this. I wonder how the spray is. Ooh, that mist is so fine that you don't even realize that you're spraying it and then all of a sudden your face starts feeling wet. Dang, that's a nice mist. It's really got a chemical smell to it. It'll taste bad too. Alcohol free, but there's something in it that's like kind of like, I don't know, doesn't taste good. And it's got like a chemical smell to it, but Definitely looks good. Look, look how good my skin looks right now. I'm loving this and we're wearing a matte foundation. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so for the eyes, I went on Instagram and asked you guys, what palette would you rather see me use? And so the options were between the Pro Fusion Cosmetics Sienna's right here or between the new Lorac Pro 4 palette. So. This is what that one, these ones are like cool tones and then these ones are warm tones and this got like 30 something percent votes and this got like 60 something percent votes. So everyone is saying this one, so we're gonna use this one today. I am gonna use this one. I haven't tested, touched this one because I was gonna save it for a video, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna use it like off camera for the rest of the month and then talk about it in my monthly best and worst video where I review all the new launches. Anyways, this brand right here sent me this palette and it's like a really cool palette. So Pro Fusion Cosmetics, I don't know where they sell this at. Um, I will have it linked down below because I'll find it online but it's a really pretty palette and it honestly reminds me of a dupe of the Natasha Denona one. Oh my God, let me go grab that. Okay, so here is Natasha Denona right here. And then here is Profusion. Oh, it looks so similar. Like you definitely have some similar colors in here. Okay, well, let's see how this one performs. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and dust Polite all over my lid. All right, so now we're gonna go into Dynasty and I'm gonna place this in the crease and then the outer portion of the eye. They seem very pigmented actually. All right, so next up I'm gonna go into Cryptic right here. This is Cryptic and I'm gonna put this a little bit more on the like, you know, outer portion of the eye and then keep it a little bit lower than that last color that we use. So that way you can still see that gradient effect to it. We're gonna kind of, I think I'm kind of like aiming towards like a sunset eye almost right now because of all these colors. And I tend to gravitate to those warm colors over the purples. So yeah, that's where we're going with it. That is so pigmented right there. These blend out really nice, like really nice. Okay, so next up I'm gonna go into Fearless, which is like a more of a deeper color than Cryptic was. I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 231 brush. This is a great brush to really just kind of concentrate that darkness in areas where you don't want it to like 
get all over the place. Like, I don't know. It's just a really good precise brush. And then again, just kind of press it in the outer portion and then slightly blend out. We don't want to blend out too much and we don't want to blend too much. Otherwise it's going to muddy all the colors together and you're not going to have that gradient. There is such thing as over blending. Okay. So for my next tip here, you guys have probably seen it in like past tutorials if you're not new, but I always take a concealer. So I'm going to go into that um, Ulta one right here. I don't want too much product on it. And I'm gonna place this on the inner corner of the eye and I'm gonna kind of carve out that inner part of the eye and that will also kind of give us a more of a blank space to work with. So I probably will put a shimmer shadow there and it will make it more, it will make it pop more. Or if I wanna put like a, like a regular like light cream eyeshadow there, it will make it pop more and it will make it look more put together. So now you can see how much cleaner this eye looks compared to this eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so for the inner corner of my eye, I think I'm gonna keep it a little bit lighter and I'm gonna use this one called Conquest right here. I actually just swatched it with my finger and I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. It's kind of like sparse and not as like put together, like pressed well. Tickled is really nice, like that one, it's pressed, it like it's just very smooth. This one's kind of like, kind of breaks up a little bit, but we'll see. I can't really say much until I try it with a brush. I always use shimmer shadows with the Sigma E58 brush because it just applies them so well. It's definitely like more shimmery than like, it's not pressed together very well, but it still looks really pretty. It's like more of a glitter. I feel like I'm putting on my eye, like almost like a loose powder glitter. And then I'm gonna take this brush from It Cosmetics. Um, also, if you've been wondering, the one that I've been using for like concealer and stuff and like carving everything out, it's another It Cosmetics one from Ulta. I always get questions asked about brushes that I'm using. So I just wanna kind of tell you guys as I go, so I don't forget. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Dynasty. This is the Bedellum Tools one. Yeah, that turned out good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so those are the eyes done right there. That looks really good. I just have to add some color onto the bottom part of the lids. I'm just gonna go through this really fast. I'm gonna kind of just copy what I did on the top, but on the bottom, I'm taking Dynasty down here on the bottom wash line. Then I'm gonna take Cryptic and keep this closer to that bottom wash line and then Fearless. You know what? I feel like we need a little bit of a brown. So I'm gonna go into Cozy right here, which is more of a cooler tone brown. So I think that might go well with this. And I'm gonna take that Luxie brush and I'm just going to pat this on the outer portion of the eye. Yeah, definitely needed that brown. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that now. Kind of bring that down. Really pretty. There we go. And then for the inner corner, we're gonna take Elusive, which is just a shimmery cream shadow. I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner right here. There we go. And then we're done. All right, so I went ahead and used a liner I've used many times. It's the Cap on D1. It's my favorite one ever. It's amazing. Um, so we're gonna try out a new mascara today. And it's the CoverGirl Flourish Lash Blast. And so it's their primer and it's the regular mascara. So we're gonna try the primer first. Ooh, white. So I'm gonna add this to my lashes. Primer is on. Now we're gonna try the actual Flourish Lash Blast from CoverGirl. Easy, breezy, beautiful CoverGirl. Yeah. Okay, so try this out. Okay, so here it is on one eye versus the other. I think it looks good. I mean, I like the brush on it because the brush is like, it's more spikier, so it really combs through those lashes, so it's gonna be really lengthening. Um, I'm still gonna do lashes on because we have such a dramatic eye that I'm like, I need lashes, but I think it is a pretty decent mascara for like every day. Okay, so lashes are on. I'm wearing Lily Lashes and Goddess. And if you guys wanna save money on those, I think I have a code and I think it's Madison M. And that is down below. So you can click on that link and it will save you money, which is good because these lashes are bomb, but they're not the cheapest. And I love them. So definitely check out Goddess. They're amazing. All we have left is lips, you guys. Like that's all we have left. So. I'm gonna grab some lip products out here. For lips, I have this lipstick right here from MAC Cosmetics. This is the Plenty of Pout Plumping Lipstick. So I don't think this is like opaque or anything. I think it's more of a, yeah, this is gonna be more of a sheer one. I don't think I'm gonna want that. I also have the Kristen Dominique ones from the Lemonade Collection. So I was actually going to use her palette in this too. 
but a lot of you guys wanted to see this one. So I'm gonna save her palette probably for an Instagram tutorial. I think that would be really fun to use it. I'm dying to try it out. I've yet to use it because I've been saving it. But her collection that she came out with is so cute, you guys. I love her products. And she's also going to be in Sephora now too, which is awesome. So I'm so proud of her. She's the sweetest, most humble girl ever. And uh, I just love talking with her. Like we were at Gem Beauty and she was telling me, cause you know, she has a little boy. So she's been through the whole pregnancy thing. And she was just telling me like what to do like afterwards, like, you know, with the body and everything. And we were just talking about her experience and everything. And it was just awesome. She's really the sweetest, sweetest, like honestly, one of the nicest YouTubers I've met. So I'm gonna line my lips with the Jouer Nude Lip Liner. These are amazing. I'm just gonna line it with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this liquid lipstick from Smashbox. A ton of people always ask me what lip color I'm wearing when I'm wearing this one. This thing is almost gone too, so I'm gonna order another one. But this is in Fair Game, and it's my favorite liquid lipstick. There is that color on my lips. Let's let that dry a little bit. And then we're gonna top it off with one of these lip glosses. You might be able to do peach. So this one is peach, and it's right there on my hand. And then we have pink lemonade, yeah. Oh, I love the way that she did design these two. So pink lemonade is more of a light sheer one with a just a touch of light pink tint to it, which is really nice. And then we have sweet tea. So there is sweet tea right there. It's a little bit more of a warmer like brown. And then last but not least is like the only one I don't think will work, but this is strawberry lemonade. Oh, I love this. Now I want lemonade. <laughs> the pregnancy cravings, you guys. Oh, that one's pretty. I would love this one for every day too. That one's really pretty. Just to keep it lightened up a bit, I'm gonna go in with this one. I think this one right here, what's it called again? Sweet tea would be a really good one to top off. You know what, maybe we should do sweet tea. So I'm gonna go in with sweet tea right here. I love glosses. So there that is. So we've got like a very warm look going on. Let me wipe off my hand. Okay, so the lip gloss was really nice. It's not tacky, not sticky. It feels good. It would be just like a great like lip gloss to throw in your purse and just retouch throughout the day. But this is a completed look, you guys. I think it turned out really good. I'm actually really happy with a lot of the stuff that I tried out. The foundation is really nice. It's not sitting too matte on my skin, which is good because we use like a lot of like radiance, oils, and dewy products to make this work for me because I am so dry, but I think it looks good. Definitely a little too dark though, because look at, I'm pretty fair. So let's just cover that up. But other than the shade, I think it worked out well with my skin. And then the eyeshadow palette is amazing. Oh my gosh, eyeshadow palette is so good. I can't wait to figure out like how expensive that was. I feel like it's more of a like affordable palette and the quality was amazing. They sent over some other products too that I can't wait to try out. I'll try those out on the side for you guys and also in future videos and let you guys know my thoughts on that. The only thing that stands out to me that I didn't like was the Becca palette. Like I just don't think it was worth it at all. Um, I think you can get better products on the their own that perform a lot better. So I think that is like the one that really stands out to me of what didn't work out. But other than that, really impressed with everything else. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. I'm thinking of doing a kind of PR haul like one day of the week and then testing out everything on the other day, like basically do a PR haul every Saturday and then every Monday or Tuesday, we do a first impressions of testing out the makeup that I get in that PR haul. That way you guys see it in action like right away and that will kind of be like what my channel is. I think that might work really well. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below, but I hope you guys enjoy this first impressions. I will have all the products linked down below if you wanna take a closer look at them and whatnot and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video, bye.